the camera I was using prior to this one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Amazon favorites for vlogging. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jasmine. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave down below. Click subscribe and also click the little bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello. It's good to see you back here, girl. So I am going to share with you guys some of the products that I, some of the things that I use for my videos, equipment, and that sort of thing that I get on Amazon. And and yeah, because I get a lot of questions about what camera I use, what lens I use, what different things like that. And I figured it would be a quick way to share all these things in one video. I'm going to do a kind of vlog style and kind of show you guys around my filming setup, what each thing is, and explain why I use it. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting out with one of my newest purchases. This is the mic that I currently use. It is a Rode Pro mic. And this is what the back of it looks like. You guys, this mic is amazing. I have it on this stand here. That way it's away from the camera because whenever it was on the camera, you could hear the camera focusing off and on. So I got this stand, which is also available at Amazon. That way it sits right above my head. This is where I sit right here. So yeah, we'll have this mic linked down below as well as the cord that you can get to connect it on this type of stand. This cord connects it to the camera and it's amazing so this mic does work with batteries but you could also connect it to the power source that way you do not need to buy batteries for it but the battery life is really good so you probably wouldn't need to worry about that at all next i'm going to move on to these lights i have two of these these are um, led lights that i got off amazon and they are from the brand newer this one is upside down but this is the brand right here it is called newer and these are amazing. They're super bright and super inexpensive. Uh, this is the other one right over here. And I basically use this for background lights. So they light up my background. I just light up my background so that way it's bright behind me. Because when I don't use those lights, I feel like it's pretty dark back here and it doesn't look as good. So yeah, these lights are amazing. And as you can see back here, you can make them either yellow or white. I usually leave them all the way on white with zero yellow. White light just looks better when it comes to filming um, makeup videos. So that's what I do. Moving back here, I have my ring light. This is the Diva ring light from Nebula. You could get this on Amazon as well. And this one is really good. It's actually an LED ring light, which is amazing top of the line really really good you can adjust the brightness from light to dark so you can add a lot of light with this ring light that is literally the only source of light on my face because i feel like it's a, such a simple setup and i just switched to this like maybe four or five months ago in the past i used to have three lights one on each side and the ring light and it was just a lot so i decided to do the simple setup because it's effective and it works really well next i'll show you guys my camera which you can get on amazon as well this is the canon t7i i've gone through a lot of cameras to be honest because i've been trying to find the perfect camera but i don't know if that really exists to be honest i think this one does work really well for video though so i saw a few people using it and i decided to kind of do a downgrade to get it because the camera i had before this was technically better but for some reason i feel like the video quality on this one is better i don't know but that's just how i think that's just what i think all right so on the camera i do have this lens from sigma which i also got on amazon this is the sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens i get questions about this all the time this is the lens that i use right now it's a really great lens it's very versatile because you can make it really wide or you could zoom it up to 35 which makes it really cropped in and you could get a nice makeup tutorial with this type of lens so it's really good it's very sharp crisp it's amazing okay Moving on to some cords here. For this side of the camera, this cord is for my mic, like I said. This one connects the camera all the way to this mic. Then we have this cord right here. This one connects, is this focused? <laughs> this one connects my camera to the computer, which is right here, and that way I can see myself in the computer. Canon has this software called EOS where you can see yourself 
in the computer screen if you have a laptop or an iPad. Um, that way you can easily see yourself and um, that way you can see yourself and you don't have to worry about getting another monitor or whatever. It's very simple. If you do not have that and you have a monitor, you can get an HDMI cord and then do the same exact thing that way. So I used to use a TV with an HDMI cord, but when you have the EOS app, it's a lot better because you can control the camera right on your computer screen. So it's, in my opinion, it's better. So yeah. Anyways, um, on this side of the camera, this is a cord coming out of here, and this is where the battery is. Now, this is an amazing trick I learned a few years ago, and it has saved my life. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. But basically, this is my battery. It's connected to a power source. Basically, this battery is powered into the power strip, and it never has to be charged because it's constantly connected to the power source, and I never have a low battery on this camera for that reason so I still have the regular battery for if I wanted to take the camera out but whenever but I actually never do that it's usually just sitting right here only for filming videos so I never have to worry about using a you know the regular battery over here I have a power strip and a crayon <laughs> this power strip you can get anywhere but Amazon has amazing ones as well and this is where I connect all my wires. It's good to just have everything in one spot because having them all over the place is just super messy and confusing. So I do recommend getting some type of power strip. That way you can have all your wires in one spot, make it really easy on yourself. So that's what I do for the power strip. That is pretty much my main setup for my makeup videos or sit down videos. Next, I'll show you guys my vlog camera and some of the equipment I use for that. So. I'm obviously on the vlog camera right now, but I will show you guys my other vlog camera. All right, so the camera I was using prior to this one is the Canon EOS M50, which is an amazing camera. I still love it. The only thing is it's so huge that it's kind of inconvenient. So I still use this sometimes for certain things, but it's an amazing camera. This mic is also available on Amazon. It's from Rode. It's a really good mic. And if you're looking to up your audio, if you're looking to increase or better your audio, having an external mic like this one is always amazing. I can actually take this mic and put it on this camera to make the audio even better. But I just haven't done that just because I feel like I like how simple this one is. Simplicity is my new thing in 2020. Also on Amazon, memory cards are a must for filming videos they are definitely you need those okay and have multiple of them because having one is just silly it might break you'll run out of space you know all these things all right in here i have some things that i use for filming um these are just markers um but i do have this tripod this is for my phone when i want to film or take pictures of my phone so still youtube related and this one is from amazon has a remote as well I showed you guys this in a video in the past. I also have some more cords. This is another microphone cord. This is lens cleaner to make your lens nice and shiny. Um, this is the um, cloth for that. This is one of my Gorilla tripods. I don't really recommend that one too much. I'll show you guys another one that I recommend. Um, what's back here? Back here I have my old Rode mic. This is my old road mic it's not as good as the one i showed you guys that i use right now but it's a cheaper alternative if you want to start out with something like this so the tripod that i would recommend is this one if you're looking for a vlogging tripod for your vlog camera this one is really good and i definitely recommend it it's very user friendly you can open it out like this it's easy to hold and this button basically like makes this top part move around so it's really nice I like it all right now I'm gonna show you guys the camera that I use to vlog right now this one is also available on Amazon It's the Sony Z one I think it's called I'll have it linked down below for sure though it's an amazing camera I love it this camera was literally designed for vloggers like they call this the vlogging camera when they made it they made it with vloggers in mind so you really can go wrong with this camera and I highly recommend it for vlogging if you are a beginner. I think it's something that you can definitely save up for and just go with this one off the back because it's really, really good. This does come with a tripod. 
in the vlogging kit. If you don't get the vlogging kit, you can get this separate. And this tripod separately is 150. And it does have some controls on there, as you can tell. I can start recording right from the tripod. I can take a picture. Um, there's different things I can do from the tripod, basically. And you could also adjust like this, like that. And it does open up as well like a regular tripod. Also, it does have a little wind thing on here, which helps um, give you better audio. I also did add a sh little strap on there from Amazon. That way you can always have um, something to hold it. I don't know why I'm out of breath, but I am. For this camera, I also do have extra batteries because I think extra batteries is essential if you're not gonna have a plug-in battery. So I do have two, three batteries for this camera. The one it came with and two extra ones from Amazon. So that way I always have a battery. I also have a spare memory card for this camera. It just helps me stay on track. And I do have a couple of car tripods that I'll show you guys in the morning. When I go into the car, I'll show you guys the car tripods for this camera as well. I think that is everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> if I forget something, I will have it linked down below. But I'm pretty sure that's everything that I use from Amazon to vlog my videos and to just have my perfect setup. Um, oh, actually reflectors are something else that I got on Amazon for my videos. I use reflectors on my desk sometimes. Not all the time, but if I want to, I use them and they're from Amazon as well. And I think that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other recommendations um, from me for vlogging. Also, if you guys want to see any other YouTube related videos, let me know. Like, I know a lot of you guys ask me about editing and stuff like that, but I don't really know how to incorporate that into a video. So if you're interested, I can do a mini series, I guess. I don't know, something like that. And uh, show you guys, share with you guys some of that stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.